Miss Wynn? I have yeah. a ton of memories, but being in this room in particular, I remember many a Christmas and Christmas Eve with Aunt Emma and Meme um, watching um, <laughs> Holiday Inn or other fantastic old movies. And the bickering that used to happen between those two sisters <laughs> reminded me of Lena and Lisa. <laughs> and then I remember when I was 16. And All right, we have our first uh, present to give out for tonight, and it's going to go to Ren. Look at that, Ren. That's for you. Merry Christmas. So that book, just so you know, is autographed to her. Oh, well, that's not a great thing to give her. <laughs> but there's a bag that has a bunch of stuff. I'm going to trade you. Oh, that bag is still here. Yeah. Um, there you go. Yeah, she's happy. Sorry, she's happy. Well, that's trying to make her happy. That's all. Finish. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sorry. That's all right. So anyway, um, Dad decided to quit smoking. It was oh. fabulous. Ooh. But he decided that since he was quitting smoking, we had to take every stick right. of furniture out of this house, put it on the front lawn, and wash everything. And I got to wash this room. And that pretty much cured me from ever wanting to smoke. Um, but I it thought was that was an, an annual yeah, event. Yeah, that was an annual yeah, event. Yeah, that was an annual event. It had nothing yeah, to do with the yeah. smoking. Well, yeah. spring cleaning. Yeah, maybe the smoking came into the pot. See, that's something we don't want to remember, right, Don? No. <laughs> but I just remember My kids never experienced that one. Yeah, and we, that was the, if oh, we were brought up that so way. That it, it, everything got taken spring out. Spring got taken. Everything, everything got taken everything. out of the house. Picture bookshelves. We had to vacuum every book all the time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alrighty, it time you up. But it was so movie nice movie. to have four Did kids. Did anyone try to buy anything that was put out on the front lawn? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. When this was going on, Ray, there was nothing that looked like it was for sale. I mean, this was like, stay away. You know? <laughs> <laughs> don't come anywhere like, this is chaos. This is chaos. Don't yeah. come we here. Want no part. But people so. thought we that we were moving. Somebody across yeah, the street yeah. asked yeah. Yeah. why yeah. instead of moving right. because everything was outside. <laughs> but she was working, so I was the one that was in charge of it. Yeah. Well, you would so make you, you would tell her to, to leave for the day. Huh? You would tell her to leave for the day. Yeah. And yeah. you cracked yes. the whip on all of us. She would have been screaming. Oh, I've got one more. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, absolutely. <laughs> we used to, as kids, have to wash the dishes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and Jerry um, used to be great with the towel. Rat tail. Oh. Rat tail thing. Yeah. Um, and Mom said to him, because we would complain that it ow. hurt. You'd say, ow, stop, ow. Yeah, you know, stop, uh -huh. Jerry, stop. And so, oh, and, and honestly, Jerry's a saint, so I don't know why this particular <laughs> memory comes up. But he wanted, um, Mom wanted. Jerry's a what? A saint. saint. <laughs> yeah. so this guy over here. He's my big brother. A saint? <laughs> Another <laughs> day we'll have stories about Jerry. <laughs> anyway, Just here. after hearing Just everybody here. say ow, 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 Mom said, do it to me. Uh oh. Do it to me. <laughs> And what did you do, Jerry? <laughs> I did it to Mom. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, it didn't. I said, no, Ma, I can't do it to you. She said, you can do it to your sisters. You can do it to me. And I said, no, Mom. And she stood to the counter. She went, do it. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Man. <laughs> right. yep. So I went, <laughs> and, <my> mom, <laughs> and she turned around. Don't you ever do that to them again. <laughs> It's always been an open door. I mean, anytime you want to come over, you come over. So, you know, you, you swing by. I do it. <laughs> so, you, so you swing by. And, and now, as it goes, happens now, a lot of the times, they're never here. Or they're napping. Or they're napping. Well, this one particular time, Nick, they weren't napping. <laughs> 
<laughs> I came over. Hello, hello. Where are you guys? And then all of a sudden, he's scurrying. We'll be down. Hold on. We'll be down the second. We'll be. Down. Well played, brother. Well played. <laughs> After that, I told Dad, I said, you're my hero. Don't play it, brother. Oh. Oh. That's, your, that's your greatest memory of the house. <laughs> 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 On that day, his father became a hero. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, Dad, there's a question. Somebody's gonna grab the phone from Jane, and it's Jane's turn. It is Jane's turn. Yes. It is. And it's funny because you do remember things that kind of shock you. So the razzle dazzle, that really shocked me. And so I walked out because I didn't know how to handle that. And then it wasn't just boys, Mr. Foley and your uncle Ben, at the twenty fifth wedding anniversary party. They were out back, and I don't know. It wasn't a friendly competition there. Something really? escalated. Yeah, I don't remember yeah that. that that was kind of tough. Wow. Yeah. I that all. Wow. Yeah. But um, your sister Emma and your grandmother. Oh my God. Your grandmother was having a hard time wrapping around the fact that she was in her. Thirty sixty or something. Something oh, like yeah. that. It, it, it might have been like her 80th birthday, and, and sis, her sister said, no, you're in your 81st year or something, yes. whatever, the, but it was. So I don't know why that would stick out, but it does. But the underlying emotion that I feel is the love from the get-go, how you opened your arms and just welcomed me in, and everybody in this room... Um, just that love, and I'm finding from people who are visiting uh, with my mother uh, in the social service agencies, and they look at us and they say, wow, this is something. Not everybody has this. I hope all of you young people just uh, take that to heart, that this is something very special that has been uh, given you, a gift from your grandparents. And it's something for us to take with us forever in our hearts. So thank you very much. It's been a pleasure, really, really. Yeah, Dad. Right. Right. Okay, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Let's end on a light note. <laughs> well played, Jane. Very nice. Thank you. Thanks, Dad. What do you got, Bob? Okay. For me? Yeah, you're the next, say? You're oh. the next youngest. <laughs> you, you know, we moved into this house, and we've been here 49 years, as you all know, and where the years have gone, we will never know, but it was so nice to have a family to come to, and and uh, I just feel, Mom and I were the luckiest people in the world. What's my wife? Huh? What's my wife? No. <laughs> they have the kind of kids we had. I ha have. Not had. Have. I mean, to say. Uh, and that was a pain in the ass as a father. I know that. True. She has a grandfather. She has a grandfather. So, anyway, it, it's, you know, it, it's just. It was. I, I, and we look at back and now, and we're going into our. 85th year, as Aunt Emma would say. So, and so, and we look at the kids that we have, and here they are now taking care of us in a way that kind of nice. <laughs> and so, I mean, I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm, I'm not. I'm looking back at the the last 62 years that we've been yeah. together, and it's been a ride, a happy ride. There's the many more. Now you've got turn. Last but not least, and most important. <laughs> the glue. Dad and I often talk about, we say, how can it be 62? Number one, 
I don't feel old. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know where the years went. I don't feel that it's been 62. I feel it's been maybe 30 or something like that. But, but then I look at what's around and I say, oh, no. <laughs> it's more than that. But um, as Dad said, it's been a wonderful ride. We've been very, very blessed with everybody. Everybody. And, uh, and it's been a pleasure, absolutely a pleasure, to have you guys around. I mean, I remember one time being on the swing with Amy, and we were as quiet as mice because there was a little chipmunk who just kept scurrying and filling up his little cheeks and going to his little burrow and going to, we were quiet so that the little chipmunk didn't get disturbed on his mission. <laughs> mm. I don't remember think I remember that. that. I yeah. must have been super young. Mm. Yeah, and then I remember when we were making crepes and you said, uh, I told you, you had to wait until they kind of bubbled before mm -hmm. you flipped them over. So that was too much for you to wait, so you danced around the island. <laughs> Chicken <Yeah>. on him. <laughs> it was perfect timing. <laughs> yeah. She'd go around the island and check as if no. no. <laughs> so, <laughs> you measure it in the laughs around the island. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah. And the one thing I'm just going to come into yeah. the, the fact is that when Jane came into the family and uh, Jerry said, I'm going to marry, marry Jane. And so he did marry Jane. And from the time of the beginning, it was always an easy co uh, um, relationship. And then next came Norm, and then came Annie, and it's been always fantastic. These kids were... Uh, so what you're saying is your children picked well. But I have a funny no, thing about one. Jerry. <laughs> oh, <here you> go. <laughs> Give it to me, Mom. I was uh, at the kitchen sink, and it was I was probably preparing the evening meal, and of course the sun goes down kind of in the west, so the the shadow is in the backyard. And uh, Jerry walks in as if nothing had happened, and I said to him. And how was the view up there? <laughs> because he was walking on the roof from one end to the other. And so he said, what do you mean? And I just looked out the window, and he knew what I was talking about because there was the roof flying, and Jerry was walking on the roof. <laughs> what did you need to see, Jerry? I wouldn't have dared say anything to him because I didn't want it to fall off. <laughs> just because I, I can do it, I guess. <laughs> Boy. Boy. <laughs> well, there's lots more stories, lots and lots, and lots. No, of stories. Yeah, but rainy stay at the road, so time for Santa Claus. Oh, yeah, you gotta do it right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm so, um, glad that you're here. Three hours, two and a half. Two and a half. So, oh, oh Ray, yeah. She came. Anyway, so so thank you Silas. very much for everything you have ever He's done for all of us. He's on the farm with his sister. So you can, and and. Thank you for rolling with tonight. Yeah. Oh my God, this is I'm losing your mind. So. Oh my God.